hamstring might be the most stretched muscle in the world. In this video, I'm going to show you how to loosen it up, how it relates to your back pain, and why you might not want to stretch it out that much after all. So our hamstring attaches to our butt muscle and runs down below our knee. So of course it's prone to getting short when we're doing a ton of sitting. And that's a problem when it comes to your back pain, because when you're bending repeatedly, you don't want your hamstrings to be tight, forcing your low back to bend more. But don't forget, your hamstring plays a huge role in bringing you back up to the standing position when you're bent over. It's probably its most important role. It has some attachments in your sacroiliac ligaments and tightens up your back, getting it ready to stand up straight. The muscle working is kind of like this theraband. Think like my fist is your pelvis where that hamstring attaches. In a normal situation, I pull down on that theraband and that pulls on my pelvis and that drives my body back up into standing. But if I excessively stretch my hamstrings, now it's much longer and it has some slack in it. And if I go to stand up, I have to do all this motion of my hamstring, produce all that force before it's even taut and then additional force before I can get myself pulled up. And guess what picks up all the slack? Your lower back. Now we certainly don't want excessively tight hamstring muscles, so we're gonna start off by checking out how much mobility you have in your hamstrings before getting into the exercises. Hop up on the table, bring your hip up to a 90 degree angle. Then straighten your knee as much as possible. If you're analytical like me, you might wanna take a picture with your phone and you can measure the angle to see your starting point. Now before we get into any stretching or activating of the muscles, we just want to mobilize it to wake it up. This is going to be our mobilizing roller here. I'm using a TheraBand massage roller. We're just going to do about 30 seconds on each leg. Your whole muscle system is just like a car. Your brain and your reflexes are the driver and your muscle is like the engine. That brain and muscle are sending signals that are basically the accelerator and the brake. When you want to move somewhere or do something, it's like your brain pressing on the accelerator. But when there's concerns in your body and your brain and your nervous system about injury, then your body presses the brake. If we're trying to stretch something out repeatedly, when you have weakness, your body's going to sense an issue and press on the brake. What we need to do is activate the muscle and strengthen it so that we can be able to move with freedom. There's different reasons the brain keeps the brake on, but if you're one of those people who has to keep stretching over and over again, this is probably you. So here's what we're going to do. Now that you have that muscle loosened up from mobilizing it, we're going to do some dynamic stretching, leg swings, about 10 times on each leg. Next, we want to activate that muscle both in a shortened range and in a lengthened range. Starting off in the shortened range, we're going to bring that hip and knee back behind us. Once you have it back as far as you can, I want you to try to flex your knee a little bit more, bringing your heel up to your butt. If you start to feel like it's cramping, don't be alarmed. It's just because your muscle's weak in this range. From there, you want to hold it about three seconds. Do about three reps on each leg if it's your first time doing this. Build up to five reps. Next up, we want to work that hamstring in a lengthened position. So you're just going to use the edge of a couch or a bed. Prop your leg up, preferably with the ankle hanging off the edge so you don't get any extra help from your calf. And just drive that heel and lower leg down into the bed or couch for about five seconds. Go through three reps if it's your first time. Just like the last exercise, build up to five reps. Now that your muscles are activated, we're gonna do a strengthening and stretching exercise called the hip hinge. It's my favorite exercise and you may have seen it before in my five minute morning low back workout video. What I want you to do is just stand with your feet about shoulder width apart and you're just gonna flex down without bending your back. Keep that back arched. Reach back with your butt and all of, all of a sudden I feel that hamstring stretch See how much I can take it down? Drive myself back up with those hamstrings and those glutes and work your way through about 10 repetitions. To each repetition, I'm able to go a little bit lower. Great stretch because I'm also using the muscles to strengthen. Now if we want to get into our classic static stretch where we're holding it for a length of time, we can get back into our test position. Bring that other leg down straight. And you can see I have much more range of motion than before the video started. If you have any issues with your back, just roll up a towel and place it under your lumbar spine to give you some support while you do this hamstring stretch. If you want to go through some traditional stretching, hold it for 10 to 15 seconds and work up to 30 seconds, doing between three and five reps on each side. This type of stretch is much more favorable than a standing or seated stretch where you're pulling your toes up to your nose. 
This is the worst type of hamstring stretch you can do for low back pain because you're just yanking on your sciatic nerve, making the condition worse than it was to begin with. By now your hamstrings should feel awake and a whole lot looser, but you can help your low back pain way more by working on strengthening than just repeated stretching. If you have any pain or difficulty performing anything in this exercise, make sure you reach out to your movement specialist. Physical therapists are uniquely trained in the musculoskeletal system and can help you get to the bottom of these problems. If you feel out of balance from working the back of your leg so much and want something to work the front of your leg, click here to watch my hip flexor fix video. If you want to help me cut out unnecessary surgeries, subscribe to the channel by clicking over here. Remember, if you want to feel, perform, and live your best, you've got to move your best. Keep it moving.